Yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Padawan Rushlow. We're here to talk about some more World of Warcraft nerd, gold grindy type stuff. So if you're interested in that kind of shit, stick around and you can learn some knowledge here today, ladies and gentlemen. Ready? We're going to be looking at JP Worgen. We're going to be using every single resource that all the nerds before us and after us will have access to. So, without further ado, make sure to like the video, subscribe if you like the content, and let's just jump right into this shit, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get right into the World of Warcraft fucking vibes. I'm going to show you guys one of my favorite ways to make gold right now. There's quite a few um, lucrative areas on the World of Warcraft map that you can go farm gold. Uh, let's say you're not a hunter and or a mage and you can't really you know, farm gold on your own because your class is busted. Uh, like, my main is my hunter. So, sometimes I'll just hop into a Scarlet Monastery Cathedral and solo it, because hunters can. With the uh, the pathing, like the way the pathing works, it's super easy, you know, you just jump up, jump down, jump up, jump down, spam it. Okay, let's open the live scene. I think it's going to work here, first try. Sometimes World of Warcraft, the launcher doesn't like my computer, so let's see. Um, But basically... There's plenty of ways to farm gold in Phase 2, Season of Discovery, right now. Uh, you don't have to do what the meta gold farm is, which is Old Man, and you just farm Old Man as a hunter, and you just go in, kill all the shits, loot them all, get out, reset the instance, go again. That, to me, is super boring, and personally, I'm not into it. You know, same with Cathedral, like the, the Scarlet Monastery Cathedral solos. Because, you know, it's it's so repetitive. It's like this, you know, you just come in and you, you just kill everything and then it's over. It ain't no fun, you know? I like a little bit of spice. Just a little bit of spice. Okay. What's going on here? Well, the game's loading. Let's just talk. Okay. So, ready? There are, I would say, three to five locales on the world of Azeroth that you can take advantage of right now in phase two on march 24th so by the time you see this video it should still be relevant um the stuff that i'm basing my knowledge on is all stuff that people need for end game content as in nomragon as in pvp so i'm gonna go to north america seasonal auction house i'm on crusader strike i'm not alliance i am horde uh for the comparison servers i'm just gonna compare it to all i don't mind comparing it to all it's kind of nice uh and then so my first item of discussion ready for this i've made a video on these already they're quite it, like unpredictable when it comes to you know if you're looking at this like a stock market there we go, World of Warcraft opened up. Let's just see. Let's uh let's switch the old live scene here. Okay. But like I was saying, so right now, the median buyout, which means that's like your average, they're going for 89 silver a pop for your small flame sacks. Those are so low right now. Because there's quite a few on the marketplace, and when they're on the marketplace, people want to undercut and just sell them because they want to get their raids done, right? Um, reset day starts in a day 19, day, a day 19 hours. Here's the moment of truth, ready? So I have 21 gold right now. I need a target. Oh, shiznit, eh? So they didn't actually all sell, so I made 8 silver from that. Any, so I do have some dragon breath chili that sold. Silk cloth went. My red wolf meat sold for some reason. Dragon breath chili, see I sold for gold. Made 96 silver off that one. And I made, so that's three gold right now. And it's gonna be four gold. Okay, yeah, I sold a decent amount of these dragon breath chilies right now, dude. Look at that, we're already at like six gold. My mouse is being a little bit weird. You, you see that like jittery? Uh, Dragon Bread Chili again. Yeah, see, that those are pretty lucrative. I think I had, like, a total of 20 Dragon Breath Chilies on the marketplace. 
Uh, I'm, there's another couple that sold for a gold, two silver, so I made 97 silver. Uh, I'm kind of sad that this many uh, things didn't sell. Uh, let's open them all. So I have seven chilies left. That's low-key kind of good. So right now I'm at 36 gold. I just went up like a solid 10 gold. And that was probably from just over an hour of playing the game. And if you're... If you want to see where I'm farming, which I will show you, the Badlands, every single, like, this uh, Lethlor Ravine is insane for whelps. And they drop at a pretty high rate. I'm pretty sure they they drop uh, small flame sacks at, like, 30%. Uh, so there is PvP up there. You will run into Alliance players or Horde if you're on Alliance. But if you're on Alliance, you shouldn't be watching this video because I don't like you. Uh, no results found. Dragon Breath Chili. So, okay. If you look, I can... Uh, the last 24 hours. I'm going to change it to the last 7 days. Uh, okay. So, it's updated. And Dragon Breath Chilies are selling at a lowest buyout of a gold 2 right now. They're spiking up. Median buyout is spiking up to a gold 39. So, that is, you're seeing the supply and demand. So there's only 413 on the marketplace right now on Crusader Strike. But people need to get their raids done still. And they're getting their alt characters done. People need to finish raids on every single one of their characters, right? They're trying to raid log. Um, if you look right here too, there's barely any on the market compared to like the 21st, which is only three days ago. Like there was literally 3,700 on the market and now there's 329. So... Uh, it's a pretty good time to list up your Dragon Breath Chilies. It might even spike higher. See back here? that This is definitely someone or a guild, a group of people buying up all of the Dragon Breath Chilies for literally two gold. Uh, let's put this back to the World of Warcraft. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post those chilies. The chilies are... And so just to top off... Um, like my evidence here of how you can use JP Worgen to basically control the markets. Um, there is something similar in like the FIFA games. I don't know if you've ever played FIFA or FIFA Ultimate Team or Hockey Ultimate Team. They're all kind of similar. They'll have like an auction hall and every card goes for like, you know, around the same price as it usually goes for. But sometimes you can get in while well, the going's good. Just like a real stock market. Excuse me. Let's miniaturize myself a little bit here. That's perfect, I think. You can still see me nice and clear, baby. But if you're looking here, this is your Sagefish Delight, which is the best in slot consumable for mana users with food uh, for the raid. And it looks quite volatile if you look at all of the bars. But let's just look at the median sale. Look at these reliable numbers over the last seven days so the quantity doesn't really matter too much um what really matters is every three days it's reset day for the ray baby so people have to get their greater sage fish delights and they have to get their sage fish or like the smoke sage fish any sort of bis consumable best in slot consumable so like your spider sausage dragon breath chili fire oil mana shit to make your fire spells do more uh, there's also the minor mana oil. You can get the, the fish that I'm looking at right now. So basically there's a consumable for every single class in the game that has to use that consumable or it doesn't have to, but like most people min max and they want to get in the raid and out of the raid as fast as they can. So if you're looking here right now, the price is going down for your big boy sage fish delight. Cause actually that's a pretty high amount on the auction hall for recently. If you're looking here. Uh, it, it seems like there's a little bit of leftover, you know, people didn't buy as many. So like this yellow bar, 180, like it, it doesn't seem like there's a super demand for them lately. But that's because today is not for the mains. All the casters, like it looks like, it looks like people usually do their raids on their caster first. Because like two days ago, there's a reset. So a thousand sold that day at that time, and then five thirty-six sold right there. So if you got in when 
your median sale was 59 silver a pop and you sold at 72 silver a pop literally the like the same day it's a great profit great profit you know you could buy like 100 sage fish just be loaded and you could use this same system in fifa it just was a little bit more volatile uh, with World of Warcraft, though, reset days every three days, static, it never changes. So every three days, you see some movement on the charts. And then you can see it with, like, literally everything um, that's a consumable anyways. Like, let me see the minor mana oil. See, it spiked up. People needed some for some reason. It's, damn, 90 silver. I, I think that's a, a mass buy. So my friend T he ganked. He uh, on Crusader Strike is probably the best druid on the server. So if you guys are watching this right now and you're a druid, just uh, send him a PM and he'll he'll whoop your ass. Um, but basically, like he's into stocks too. So when he looks at this, he actually can make sense of a chart. Uh, and I'm starting to be able to as well uh, due to our little conversations. But whenever there's a giant spike like this, it's usually some entity buying a boatload of the product at the same time. So that's what it looks like for the minor mana oil. So it's a little bit volatile. I wouldn't put your money in it right now, right? Somebody just bought a whole bunch of them. Um, what's another, uh, like your greater mana potions. People need these. See, look, there's people like, this is probably somebody getting ready for a raid and they just bought as many potions as they could, right? But the median sale spiked really hard because one person or one group needed pots so they went and bought all the pots but you can see every three days so this is before reset soon as people realize it oh with reset day boom price spikes you could have made uh what was it here what was the price 40 silver to 56 silver so per mana pot you're making 16 silver profit which is crazy that's that's really good profit and you can get into your, you know, hourly quantities and, and daily quantities, which some of these statistics matter for the consumables. Like, obviously, if there's a boatload of product on the auction hall, it's going to go for a little bit cheaper than if there's less, uh, which it seems like there's a lot on the market right now. So, uh, basically, I, this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm not going to be farming as hard for my own gold now that I have some gold. But I'm going to invest. So in a day and 14 hours, that's your next reset. So just before reset, you can get in at, on any of these, any of these consumables. And you can get in early, stock up, and sell them when reset happens because people are going to be getting consumables and getting ready to run their raid the most efficient way they can run their raid. So without further ado, make sure to drop a mother trucking like and give me a subscription because it really helps and share it around why not share it to your nerds all the nerds get the nerds get the nerds yeah. we must band together but yeah thanks for watching guys um if you made it this far in the video comment your favorite gold making strategy right now that's not old man and uh we'll see you on the battlegrounds ladies and gentlemen take care